Spring is around the corner, which for some means it's time to clean out the closets. As the NewsHour's Rena Natur explains, a popular Netflix show featuring Japanese organizing expert Marie Kondo encourages people to discard items in their home that do not spark joy. Choose items that spark joy for you. It's the phrase that's sparking a nationwide closet clean-out. <laughs> Let's start tidying. <laughs> In her Netflix show, Tidying Up, Japanese organizing expert Marie Kondo helps people transform their cluttered homes into tidy retreats. Kondo's best-selling 2014 book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, first popularized her trademark KonMari method. The method tackles decluttering by separating items into categories, like clothes, books, and sentimental items. This was the mailbox on the home when I purchased it. The fundamental idea after that is simple. If an item sparks joy, it stays. If it doesn't, Kondo encourages people to thank the item for serving its purpose, then out it goes. Thank you for letting me wear you. Ooh, I like that, okay. The show's inspiring such a tidying craze that secondhand stores are getting inundated with discarded items. Following the show's premiere, one Goodwill store in Maryland reported a 367% uptick in donations. In New York, a popular thrift store that buys used clothing is seeing wait times double for customers hoping to sell them their cast-off clothing. I think at first we didn't really know what was happening. People were waiting in line and you heard people talking about it. And they're like, oh, did you, were you watching that show? Is that why you're here? Did you clean your closet out? In Chicago, Ravenswood used books manager Barbara Strangeman says they're getting three times the number of books these days, nearly 30 boxes worth a weekend. I noticed something was different because generally people are either moving and they're not happy to get rid of their possessions, but people were happy. People were like, yay, I've got a clean shelf, yay. These don't spark joy. And that's when I thought, oh, spark joy, I know that. The show's tapped into the cultural zeitgeist in a major way, as illustrated by this New Yorker cartoon, and has propelled Marie Kondo into a household name in the U.S. I don't understand anything you're saying. <laughs> when you say it, but I would uh, follow you to a cult compound and never leave. As to why the show, with its petite star who speaks very little English, has become such a sensation, professional organizer Jenny Albertini, who was trained by Marie Kondo in 2016, thinks it may be a form of stress relief. Going about our business in times of strife is just draining and stressful. So, like, how can we address on a daily basis things that will make us feel that we're more connected to our lives? But is throwing things away a sustainable approach? When we watch the show, we see people throwing out just mounds of things. That seems to some people wasteful. Oh, I would really start five steps before that and say, I think the waste starts when we purchase those things. And what I say to clients often, when we look at these piles that they've created, when we look at the bags of things that they're going on, say, this is the last time you have to look at something like this. Yeah. Like, you can choose from here on out that you don't have to live like this. <sighs> and you may want to get moving on decluttering that messy work desk, because Marie Kondo's next book, Joy at Work, takes tidying up to the office. It is scheduled for release next spring. Consider yourself warned. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm running a tour in Washington, D.C.